All right, important acquisition. Uh, the local newsletter had this in it. It's a 10 inch, unfortunately not a 12, but it's a 10 inch rigid chop saw with stand. And it's got those great big tall desert wheels on it. So this is great, 80 bucks, normally 400 plus tax new. Um, okay, I'm showing you the ground on purpose here because here's a, the beginning of a hell of a surprise. Well, not for any of all of you. Okay. So, the middle pair of panels is missing because I actually had one of them installed. I can't lift this whole entire structure at the same time. Not just physically, but mechanically. So now there's, it's in two halves. So you can see where the pipes end. Um, can lift, two people can lift one half, you know, put a brace under it, then lift the other half, and then I can use a ladder or something to put the other two panels in the middle. And these things are gonna go up almost to the height of that. So this end down here is gonna be something like eight or nine feet off the ground. And that'll give um, the right angle for the peak of summer. So we need about 10 degrees, a little less, maybe, well, a little less than zero, so 12, maybe 13 degrees. And uh, it'll catch a lot of sun. Um, I got my electric bill and yeah, I have no excuses for having a high electric bill. So, once these get propped up and stabilized, then uh, all these cables you see hanging down get an inverter, a micro inverter. And uh, this whole system will pump out 240 volts AC and it'll get tied to that little breaker box right there. Or as a professional would call it, a sub-panel. Anyway, I'll get tied to that, and we will have solar. See, this was one of my... I'm going to divert myself from trying to fix the house and, until it's done and do nothing else. Screw that. I need solar. This thing runs the air conditioning a lot. Now, I, I found a setting in the fan. Instead of leaving it on low, so the fan runs on low 24-7, it's on auto, so if the air conditioning shuts off, the fan shuts off. So it cycles a lot, it cycles on and off a lot and it keeps the power usage down. And then you add a couple thousand watts of solar. Um, the air conditioning in that trailer draws, I measured 1700 watts. And this should put out hopefully something close to that. So let me tell you, if those big old yuccas weren't down there, I'd, grab a couple and no more panels and stick them down there and I can almost put 4,000 watts on here because paying for electric electricity is not part of my plan anyway these need to be washed they were in storage and they need to be cleaned obviously of course we're supposed to have a monsoon kick your butt kind of Sunday and it's just not coming to fruition although maybe tonight Yesterday it rained some, but these just got put up in the last couple hours, so um, I did them semi-Burning Man style, um, well that's what I call it. Um, this one inch electrical conduit, you buy the straps, or you buy the half straps here to hold them all together and it just goes together with quarter inch nuts and bolts. Uh, Nylock nuts actually, so it doesn't vibrate loose. And this held up, mounted on my trailer. To 50 mile an hour winds that I know of, so um, they should work really good here. Now at Running Man, I didn't use any wood, but the handrail up there would have been the equivalent of the trailer itself because across the very top here, all the way down the side, I had these special brackets I made out of Unistrut, and so the trailer was half of it, and the poles held up the other half of the panel and um, really did a good job. It was so mechanically sound and then um, when we had a lightning strike it turns out that each one of these that was uh, just like this pole here. That's 24 inches of uh, rebar sticking six inches out of the ground. So that leaves 18 inches in the ground and then you run that nut in and I 
nice and tight against the rebar, and this pole's going nowhere. Turns out, it's also grounded. So I had 11 of these holding up 10 panels on my trailer last year, and we had a, a, an area-style lightning strike around our camp and around everywhere around us, and uh, one of our campers had their solar stuff burn out, their hardware, and nothing happened to mine. I didn't even phase it, so... You know, I didn't understand that I needed to be grounded as well as I did after that. Now, the same thing will happen here. I wish I could use poles vertically, steel poles vertically for this, but um, I don't have any of the crosses. See at the top of that pole, see that little thing right there? I call those crosses that are at each intersection. I don't have any more, so um, this is vertically going to be held up with uh, studs. I'll do is uh, I don't know I'll figure it out later but theoretically I'm going to Burning Man this year which means all of these panels have to come down <laughs> and go with me but I'm thinking of maybe just bringing one or two but anyway um, it's installed it just needs to be risen up and figure out how to make the vertical supports. Um, I was going to tie them to these railroad ties and um, they'll be sitting on the ground as well so they should be pretty stable. Maybe run some cross bracing, some X's underneath um, like this out of 2x4's it'll, it'll stiffen the whole assembly because you got to remember everything has to be wind rated out here. And that's one of the reasons you see these big gaps between rows of panels. Um, I saw a professional system put on that was probably 40 panels wide, and they had a huge gap between every panel out in the desert because of the wind. If you can let the air through, you don't get so much pressure on it, and it won't move the system so much. So, anyway, real happy about this. Um, maybe as early as tomorrow we'll get the other two panels up and get this thing stood up. I'll have to get some more wood. Um, I've got two 12 footers left, and uh, those won't go very far. So maybe the 12 footers would be better for cross bracing across the bottom to stiffen it up. Um, anyway, I know I'm rattling a little bit, but uh, I'll be able to have some solar out here in the desert, and it's about damn time. You know, I'm not getting the house done if I'm doing this, but, you know, i got to use electricity a lot, and I've got to have something to offset that. Um, anyway, it, uh, it's up, it's solid, I'm happy, and uh, that's it for now. See you, bye.